I just remember staring out the window the whole time. And, and I was just thinking, this is amazing. Kids in Flight is what I call a mom and pop type of nonprofit that uses aviation to help children who've had serious illnesses or developmental disabilities soar into the skies and see the world from a different perspective and soar with their dreams. We've had kids here who, when they come to see us, they've been through the ringer, but they show such grit, determination, and courage that they're an inspiration to all of us. We like to call this a day of transformation because when the children come in, they're shy, they're a little bit timid, they're not quite sure what to expect. And when they fly on that airplane and they come back, they're like different children. The smiles are indescribable. It's just heartwarming. Because she, when we turned, she was like, and I'll let you okay? She's like, yeah. Just to give these kids a chance to be kids, they're, some of them are quite ill and it gives them a, a little bit of time away from the hospital, the doctors, and you've seen what's going on around here. They're, they're just having fun being normal kids. I'm Tony DiBiasio. I am on the board of directors for Kids in Flight. And I've been on the board now for roughly about eight years. When families have experienced this for the first time, it's one of those things that they want to experience again and again, in large part because of the reaction they get from their children. Um, the children come here and we see and experience kids from all different types of difficulties and disabilities, whether they're children suffering from cancer or children who have serious um, developmental disorders. But even though they're so different when they come to us each year, they're very similar when they get off their flight. And once they've had the opportunity to go up in the air and see the world from aloft and from a different perspective, when they get off their planes, they all look very similar. They have these big smiles, these big eyes, and this wonderful sense of wow. And that's why we call this our Wings of Wonder event. Each year, for, to put on Kids in Flight, it's not just the board and it's, it's not just the kids that make this just an incredible transformative day. It is a, a day that is successful because of the many, many volunteers that we have and the many sponsors that we have. We have close to 70 to 80 volunteers and they come back to work with these kids because they've been moved and changed and transformed by their experience with these children. We have sponsors that are unique to aviation. We have sponsors who are just make general donations. The Kiwanis clubs, the restaurants, the other organizations in town that really want to help children and advocate for kids, especially kids that have had a bad break here or there. But without our volunteers, without our sponsors, we wouldn't be able to do this each year. We obviously couldn't do this without our pilots. The, the pilots give up an awful lot. Because we're a nonprofit, they are donating their precious time. They're using their private planes. They're paying for their own fuel costs. They come here because they've been influenced and moved by these children as well. Their reactions are all different. There's, there's no two that are actually alike. Some of them are afraid to even look out. Others are just in awe of what they're seeing and they're, they're excited and, and some are just kind of stoic and they sit there and look. And so there's, there's no set response to what we do, but they always seem to enjoy it. The parents say they talk about it for days and days and days afterwards. So we're making an impression and that's what we want to do. Hello, my name is Jean Lean. I'm 11 years old. I came here today with my brother. He has, he has autism. Um, today, today we just have really fun. We have ice cream, we have cake. It was a very nice day today. For me, honestly, I, I just enjoyed the whole flight. The sights were beautiful. I had a great time. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, can't ask for much more. No. They just think they can they can conquer anything. You know, they see their world from up high, and they know that they can overcome whatever they're going through. Um, it's just a pretty amazing day, and, and these kids are. These kids are just so resilient, it's hard to describe.